In this video, I will unbox and review the EasyCast 2. Now with the EasyCast 2, you can uh, stream uh, videos and uh, photos in the screen from your mobile device directly to the TV with this uh, wireless device. Now this wireless device doesn't need to use a Wi-Fi, so um, you don't need a home network Wi-Fi. All you need to do is use the Wi-Fi directly from the device itself and you can uh, stream it. So it's very hand uh, handy when you go to a hotel or to some places where it doesn't have a home network or where you don't have access to uh, the home network Wi-Fi then you can stream directly to this uh, EasyCast 2 so we open it up and this is what you get inside the box so I'm just going to pull out the box here so there is an EasyCast instruction and in this box there are two main things which is the cables, the Wi-Fi uh, broadcaster cables and this the dongle right here so this one here so it's got um, Juban as you can see right here and here is the device itself and this is the where you plug in the cables and this is the actual cable itself so I just uh, open up the cables and this is the cables and then you put that one there and so this end here is plugged into the power source, the power adapter this plug into this device itself and that's it, and that's just hang out in the air okay according to the box uh, description it has a dual band 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz support full hd uh, 10080 uh, by p60 and down here you can play with miracast airplay and uh, dlna so you can use a uh, easycast app media file casting web browser live camera and easy channel online streaming and cloud storage and so it has uh, support over the air firmware upgrade so you can upgrade uh, the firmware on this device as well uh, if there is a newer software on the side of the box here so I'll just show you like what you can do and that's it so now you can use either the, um, an android phone or an iphone so this iphone you can cast it directly to this device or any of your android device, uh, device you can cast it to this device here Okay, first we just need to plug this one into the HDMI port on the TV. Then I'll plug this cable in. You should see the easy cast will uh, lights on with a blue light like this. Okay, now we turn on the TV and make sure you change the source to HDMI. On my TV, I can change it by pressing on the input button to change the source. Okay, now on my Android device, I just uh, basically go into um, settings. From the settings screen, I just tap on Wi-Fi connections and then go into Wi-Fi. And I want to connect to the easy cast right here as you can see on the TV now put in the password you got the password right there so we need to put in the password onto the phone so we put in the password and then tap on connect So now it's connecting the easy pass. Okay, in this step we want to download these two apps here, or one of the apps called EasyCast. You can download it from uh, Play Stores. Once you have downloaded and installed from the Play Store, just launch the app. In here you want to, uh, you can see, once you launch the app, it asks that um, we need to connect to a Wi-Fi, so you can tap on either one of your Wi-Fi. So I connect to this one here. 
we'll connect uh, using 5G and I'll put in the Wi-Fi password. Uh, Wi-Fi password you can tap on the connect button and it will connect. So we'll set, basically set the EasyCast device to uh, connect to the internet. Okay so it's now connecting and then on the TV you can see it tried to um, do an upgrade so it's checking for the um, software update now you can see this is port 2 so there is a new version so automatically it's doing all that automatically I didn't do anything and it automatically checked for a new uh, uh, firmware and it will try to download and update it by itself once it has access to the internet and up here you can see it shows one device is now connecting to EasyCast 2 and then it now has access to the internet with uh, 5G right here so after the upgrade, it will try to reboot itself. Now just wait for it to uh, finish the installation of the update. Okay, once you have set up the EasyCast, there are a lot of different ways how you can cast uh, to the TV. One of the easiest ways is to um, swipe down at the top here and then choose uh, Smart View. So I'm just going to browse over here and choose Smart View. So you can tap on that one there to turn off or turn on. So that's off at the moment. And uh, if you want to cast everything on your screen, on your phone screen, to the TV, just tap on Smart View, and then uh, we choose Easy Cast. So we just wait for it to uh, search and find the Easy Cast device, and then we tap on that, and now it's um, connecting. And that's it. So you can see on my screen here, it's now casting to the TV. And if I launch the gallery, that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. So if I um, turn on the camera, you can see the screen now. So you can see here on my phone and then on my TV is also casting on my phone and on the TV. There it is. So you can, I can also cast the camera uh, to the TV itself. Now you can also use the app. The EasyCast app right here to do the same things. So this apps allow you to um, also again cast uh, channels, easy channels, music, videos, photos. So if you've got photos on here, you can tap on that, and then you can uh, cast it to the TV. So I love the fact that with this device, it's casting directly to the TV and not through your home uh, Wi-Fi network. I'm just going to tap them back here, here so you can use the web uh, again you can use the camera and that will um, directly cast to the TV so there it is you can see and that's what it looks like on the TV and if you don't want to use the app itself you can just basically uh, cast directly from your phone to the TV itself and here I'm just going to uh, into my gallery in here and say I want to play videos and then it will play directly in the to the TV so you can see here it's playing and now it's casting to the TV so no need to use um, home Wi-Fi network again I really love this device it, it works really good so this is a very um, high HD uh, videos and you can see it's casting perfectly fine so yeah, it works really amazing with Juban, and you can see it works beautiful uh, with this device casting directly to the TV. So I'll try it with an older device, um, Samsung Galaxy S7, see what happens. Okay, so here on my Galaxy S7, I'm just going to tap on Smart View, and it will so I'm trying to uh, search for the device. So searching and searching. So you can see it says no device fail. The reason is because this one is still um, connected. So what we want to do is you want to go over here and then disconnect it. So I'll disconnect the EasyCast on this device. And if you do that, then on this device here, you should be able to um, uh, search for it now. And there you go. So now you can uh, cast it. So it's ready for casting. Oops, I just pressed something. So we have to do wait again. 
Okay, now it's connected to my screen from the phone. You can see here if I press on that button, it says I can pause sharing, change device, or disconnect. And that's it. So that's even on my Galaxy S7 works uh, fine. Uh, you, you used to be able to um, uh, connect the MHL to the uh, USB port here, but uh, since the sevens, um, you no longer can use MHL cables. So now um, EasyCast is a very very great alternative. Um, cost not very expensive, maybe forty fifty dollars, depending on where you're getting. Uh, them. I'll post it on a link in the description so you can uh, check them out. But they are very affordable and very great. Works beautiful. You can cast it your, to your TV easily. So it's really amazing device. I love it. So here it is. You can see I can cast uh, whatever on my phone directly to uh, uh, the TV itself. So in here I just need to go and browse for our videos and then I just um, tap on the play button and then it will simply just cast it to the TV. I can tap on the back, I can go to the next video, so I can press on the play button and we just uh, simply cast it to the TV uh, as you can see right there. So very easy and very straightforward. Okay and that's it guys, I hope you find this video useful. So if you need to find out a way to stream uh, videos from your mobile device to your TV, then that is one of the ways you can do it without the need to use a home network for Wi-Fi. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.